What's up guys, this is Wayne Overage Master bringing another dueling on Quirk vid and this is going to be something very similar to what uh, Asian Eyes White Dragon does. If you don't know what he does, he uh, occasionally watches uh, noobs duel and just critiques them and sees what they do. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do the same thing, quite not at his level, but... Okay, so in our player on the red we got Jimmy the Dog tributing his Karibo for an Ayatsu that, oh, oh, that, that 100 deck, 100 defense, so worth the Karibo sack. <laughs> Against uh, Nushan, is he going to chain Maxi? Is he going to chain Maxi? Oh, oh, he he draws three cards. Okay, okay, it looks like he realized his mistake. Oh, no, he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't show his opponents any of his cards, and he just, he, okay. This looks like, okay, 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 we got a burn deck. Burn deck against, I don't even know what, a Karibo, a, what, I don't even know what type of Karibo deck. Um, but, let's see how this duel goes against our player in the red versus the player against the blue. I can't imagine what was the point of, uh, sacking that, uh, or tributing the Karibo for the Ayatsu. Maybe he has something planned, uh. I actually don't know what he could have planned. There, I, I don't see any point in that. It's always fun watching noobs duel because they always have the most interesting decks. And by that I mean, let this guy, let's see, he has 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48 cards. Now that's not bad per se, but rule of thumb is you generally don't want to go over 40 or 42 at the most. Oh, okay. He's going to go go ahead and flip over his evil form Heliotrope. He's going to go for another Ayatsu. Oh, no. The pro calls. The pro plays. The pro plays are real. That Ayatsu is too much. He might have incredible potential. Oh, the Jar of Greed. What is he hoping to draw into? It's not looking very favorable for a player in the red, Jimmy the Dog, and none of them have extra decks, which is, uh, which can be an indicator of many things. Either they are new players, they're playing Exodia, Burn, or yeah, that's those are pretty much the three main reasons. And both of these guys looks like they're just starting out, or they just lost their first couple of games. Player in the red losing more, but one thing that this player is doing a little more right is having 43 or 44 cards as opposed to his 48. Now, if you're playing something like Light Swords or Yao Zings, it might not be a bad idea because, based on how much cards you're going to be milling, but at the same time, it, oh, the Hirotama! I haven't seen that card since um, the Yu Gi Oh! TV show where uh, Melvin forced uh, Joey to duel Yugi. That Hinotama is too OP, and Kaiba is somewhere saying, That is such a rare card, you know. Oh, how did a, you know, uh, hacky or lackey or whatever third rate chump like Joey get that card? And then he throws his, um, what's the card, uh, Mystic something at the rare hunter and makes him drop a remote, which is completely ridiculous. But besides from that, oh, the Yujo friendship. Is he going to accept? Is he going to have unity in his hand? No, apparently there's going to be no unity. Let's see if our player in the blue... Oh, okay, he knows very good. Ha! Well, that was... See, normally this Yujo friendship type thing with Unity is always interesting to see how it works, but I it clearly says, oh, another Hinotama. Oh my god, that Hinotama is too OP. And normally I would be saying that that was a poor choice, but seeing as how position-wise our player in the blue is at a much better advantage compared to the player in the red and life point-wise, that was a smart move. However, if our player in the red was 
with equal number of life points and our player in the blue, then it might be a good move. It would have been a you know would have been a bad move because he just wasted one card to burn him 500 damage, and that could have been used to leverage him over something else. So I I honestly don't even know. We went from uh, evil swarm to uh, Ayatsu, which I don't even know which deck would use as Ayatsu. To Gem Knight, this is just all over the place. And Karibo, just randomly Karibo, adding Karibos into his hand. Um, let's see, I forgot what this says. If this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the grave, any further battle damage you take, this turn becomes a zero. See, that card isn't bad. I've seen it used in very, you know, upper level decks. I've even seen it used in Shadow decks, which is really strange, but it works. Um, even though Shadows are about just oppressing your opponent. But I, I have honestly have no idea what a player in the red is playing. See, he, he, we got Evil Storm Heliotrope, we got a Gem Knight, and we got a Kribo. And he can't even overlay for anything. I mean, you would think one of these players would have a Utopia at the least. But I don't know. Okay, maybe he's just trying to get rid of that Slicer, but I guarantee there's going to be at least... I don't guarantee you. I'm confident there's going to be a Magic Cylinder, a Negative Attack, or a Mirror Force. Oh, Magic Cylinder called the first. That Magic Cylinder is too OP, and that is GG, folks. Oh my god, Magic Cylinder, Hino, double Hino Tama. Oh, the memories. They're all coming back. Oh yeah, also if you want to check out the original vids, check out this boy here, my homeboy. He's also Asian, and he, I'm Asian, he's Asian. Go check out Asian Eyes White Dragon. Oh, oh, rematch. Yes, we will definitely watch the rematch if they accept, if Pegasus accepts. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video here as soon as it goes to the rock, paper, scissors screen. And then I'm going to do a continue uh, recording it. Otherwise, this could be a very long video that none of you guys are going to want to watch. So we're going to wait for the player in the red to admit defeat. And then record again and see what type of plays they do. Looks like our player in the red is in a hard admit defeat. <laughs> Well, at least your player in the blue is knowledgeable on that fact. There we go. So I'm going to cut the video here, and then I'm going to start it over again.